I am Adil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to add imaginary numbers when we are given them in exponents form. So the question here is to find what is i to the power of 17 plus i to the power of 19 is equal to. As you know i is a pure imaginary number uh, which could be written as square root of minus 1 or square of i is minus 1, correct? With this in mind, let's start the calculation. So we need to evaluate i to the power of 17 plus i to the power of 19. What you can do here is, you can take 17 common, right? So you can take i to the power of 17 common. So you get 1 plus i square. Now, so i to the power of 17 times 1. And i square is minus 1, right? i square is minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, so i to the power of 17 times 0 should be, as you know, 0. So what we get this as, as 0. Now this is one of the methods which could be adopted. Now there are many different ways you could do it, uh, but this is probably the most efficient one for solving such questions. Let's look into another way of doing it. Is you know, the real and imaginary numbers, the real numbers are represented on the x-axis and imaginary on the y-axis, correct? So, so what do you know here is that these points could be represented as, well this is real 1, this is real minus 1, and this is imaginary i, and this is minus i, correct? You could always find what is i to the power of 17 equals to. So this is like power of 0. This is i to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So i to the power of 17 is actually equals to i. Similarly, i to the power of 19 is more efficient way is we could write this as power of force because anything to the power of 4 see if I write i square is minus 1 let's let me redo it if i square is minus 1 what is i to the power of 4 it is of course minus 1 square which is 1 right it is same as i to the power of 0 so you notice that the values of i to any power will be either 1 i minus 1 or minus i right so we could write 19 as uh, 16 which is 4 to the power of 4 which is 16 times this is 16 correct uh, 4 times 4 is 16 times i cube correct and that is this portion is 1 right so 1 times i cube and i cube is minus 1 correct so uh, sorry minus uh, So it is uh, 0 uh, minus i, I'm sorry. i cube is minus i, right? So that is how you could do it. See, i cube means i squared times i, which is minus i, correct? So i cube is minus i. So these are all known facts, correct? So you could write i to the power of 17 plus i to the power of 19. 17 is i, right? And i to the power of 19 is minus i, right? So we should do, I mean, right, plus minus i. And that gives you 0. So that could be another way of doing it. That is, find each value individually and then do it. Either way, you get the same answer, which is 0. I hope you understand and appreciate both the methods. I added this portion on the right for benefit of my students who may not understand how to work with i and get its power, right? So uh, let me add one more thing here. Let us say if I want to find i to the power of, let us say 90, how much will it be? The best thing is divide 90 by 4, right? Divide 90 by 4. So now it could be 2 times is 8, you get 10. And then again 2 times is 8 and you get remainder of 2. So this remainder of 2 tells us that i to the power of 90 is same as i square which is minus 1. So that is how power 
this circle of four works correct so that is just an additional note for some of you who might have missed my video on calculating exponents of i i'll provide a link for that here so that you could refresh and solve such questions uh, more efficiently i hope you understand and appreciate it feel free to write your comments share your views and your questions thank you and all the best